All right. Watch live. Nancy Stamps, Local King Rubber Stamps with Tracy. Bringing it's over my, my small haul of paper that I've purchased. You think you got <laughs> enough paper? I think I've got a few sheets of paper. Well, there's uh, Diana and Sarah, Jan and Gloria, Melissa, Jamie, Heather. I probably missed a couple because I'm not on live chat. Now I am. Judy, Candace, Terry. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Hold on. I got to do live chat. Nancy Stamps is on. I got to watch this. This girl just hit 20,000. We got to watch her. That's right. Oops, I better turn that down. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Tracy Fear. Hi, Jan. Hi, Katie. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Sandy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Crystal. Don't mind me. I just got home from work and uh, inspected the patio door, did my reports. Leah and I went to the park quick. So now we're here. All right. There's Karen Voller. Hello. Ooh, Karen, stick around. You might Linda like this Jones, show. Cindy Decker. Carol Adams, Shirley. Hi, Judy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Diana. Hi, Maria. Hi, Heather. Hi, hey, Anna. Anna. Hi, Vals. Mary. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hi, Allison. Welcome. She says it's her first live. All right. Uh, it's a little addicting, Allison. <laughs> it's so much fun. Thank you, Francis. Hello, Shalon. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Vicki. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Marva. Hi, Margaret from the UK. Hi, Terry and Marco. Wow, we got lots of people jumping on here. Hi, Mary. That's so, great. in case you are new or not aware, I just hit 20,000 subscribers today. I want to thank everybody for your support. I'm so excited. And Tracy and I jump started the weekend by giving away a dozen packages. Uh, I mailed another six packages today and we have people coming out of the woodwork donating more gifts. So someone won a laser printer from one of our um, VIP. So the laser printer got shipped yesterday. I shipped out a die cutting machine yesterday. Uh, lots of packages of foil got shipped out mm -hmm. and Gloria, our wonderful Gloria is making her glue toppers. Glue toppers. Yeah. So Gloria has picked out some winners that she's going to send glue toppers to. And we have some gift certificates coming from Catherine Pooler um and tonight we have some gift certificates from local king rubber stamps we have more stuff coming from kitchen sink stamps so we still have a lot more to give away in celebration of 20,000 subscribers that is all for you guys because you guys make it worth coming on here at night and creating yep. and having fun because if it weren't for you guys we wouldn't do this and we love you guys and hanging out and all of your creativity and your kind words and your support have gotten us here. So we want to share with you guys by giving back. Tracy just hit 2000 on her channel. So yeah. if you are not subscribed to Tracy's channel, please head on over there and uh, subscribe. And her name is spelled at the bottom of the screen there, Tracy Schultz, S-H-U-L-T-Z. She's the hopeful crafter. Yay! Thanks, Nancy. Congratulations. Huge oh. milestone. And uh, I know that it'll just keep getting uh, more and more, you know, subscribers as time goes on for you. Yes. Oops. There goes my glasses. <laughs> so we're going to play with in honor of our new sponsor of gifts tonight. I don't know. Should we tell them now what the gifts are? Should we make them wait a little bit? We should wait a little bit. Yeah. We should sprinkle it in. I will say it's going to be worth hanging out for. Um, yes. Very nice price. I was like, <gasps> And Tracy already asked me to do the live. So when I got the email, I was like, oh, we have to do the live now. So let's, yeah. let's uh, hang out. Let's do some, some local King rubber stamps. And Tracy and I do have some new stamps coming from the new spring release. We haven't gotten them yet. 
So we're going to show you some of the new backgrounds and some of the collections that we have in our Local King rubber stamps stash. Yes. Yes, Karen, we'll get me to 5K someday, and then we'll have mm -hmm. a big celebration. <laughs> yes, Tracy will be at 20,000 soon. She will, because I need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Christine Mack. So nice to see you. Christine, were you watching the other night when I said I bought 15 of the 17 hollow packages of paper from Joanne's Fabrics? I said, Christine, don't be mad at me if you go to Joanne's and there aren't any. Yeah, she wiped <laughs> out her local Joanne's. <laughs> Hello, Michelle from Australia. Hi, James. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jen Nelson. All right, All right. Stephanie Walter. All right. Let's go hands down. Are you going to teach me the right way to use these magic mushrooms? Magic mushrooms because yes. I do okay with them, but I'm sure that I'm not using them to their full ability. Okay. You I need a little bit of water and your reinkers just in case your ink pad is dry. Okay. So let me so grab my little bright. spray bottle. I and just we'll go love hands how down. pretty they are. Yes. They are so pretty. Mine, mine looks, here's, I'll show you mine. Of course, I'm, oh, oh. I'm the heavy handed one. So mine look a lot more saturated than Nancy's. See that? Before we go hands down, I have to show a couple of real quick happy mail. See, yeah, yours have been, yours have been loved. This is from Marva Yem. Look at, it's my favorite color. Look at that. Oh, pretty. Favorite. I love that. She stamped that and those are cut out butterflies and she even yeah. did them on the inside. So thank you, Marva. And then I got one from Suzanne. It's a shaker card. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yes. I know Suzanne sent you that beautiful peacock card. She did, yeah. I showed it to my mom and dad and my sister the other day, and they were like, wow. They were like, that is now, amazing. <laughs> this came from a new subscriber or a secret subscriber. I don't know. I, I think I know who sent it, but it's metallic tattoo paper from Sunny Scopa. And basically, it's... Um, what's it called? Decal something slick i forget what it's called it's foil tattoo for your skin it's foil tattoo but it doesn't like just the foil comes off i forget what it's called uh, water slick decals water something decals water slide decals that's what it's called i knew i was gonna get it so this person has been trying to use these i wanted to compare these to printing out on clear sticker paper so I want to thank if I, that's who that person is. They have not admitted it yet, but thank you so much. Yes, I will definitely try this out. And awesome. then today I got a surprise package from one of our FSC VIPs. I got a beautiful card from Jen Knable. <gasps> oh, I got a card from her today too. <laughs> thank you, Jen. Love it. I'm going to do a live showing all the cards I got for my birthday slash belated birthday. And then this one came from our FSC VIP who I, they want to remain anonymous. That's why we say VIP because they are constantly donating to us. And uh, I, you know, I love, I love, love, love this, but she also sent me. Oh, yay. Horses. So of course we'll have to do some hot foiling and she made me a whole bunch of die cuts. Thank you die cuts, which I'm going to make backgrounds today for all those thank you die cuts because we always yes. send thank you cards to you guys when you support yes. our channel through PayPal and through Super Chats, which is where postage goes. Um, the postage adds up pretty quickly. So all of your support goes towards postage. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. So we're going to make some thank you cards today for all of your sponsorship and contributions. Stephanie. If you would like to please email us, our email is foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com and we can yes. discuss that. Thank you, Stephanie. Lisa is in the house. Hello, Lisa. Woohoo. Hello, Lisa. So happy to see you tonight. Well, not see you, but watch you type and chat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's those are some cool hot foil dyes. I love those seahorses. Yes. 
So we'll be doing more videos with those. It's <laughs> of course. I love to hot foil. It's my favorite thing to do. I actually like hot foiling more than the laminate, the mink foiling. I don't know why, Nancy, but I just do. Um, I think okay. once you get the hang of the hot foiling, it's just easy just to kind of mass yeah. produce. You know, yeah. so I think when you're when you're doing the mink for me, it is the easiest and, and the cheapest way. But I think the uh, it's known like, you know what your results are going to be every time you use the mink machine. Right. Where with hot foiling, you're always on the edge like it's dangerous. Yeah. because You don't know how the hot foiling is going to come out once right. you get the hang of it and you get into the rhythm of it. Like every time you're like, ooh, ooh. so I think right. that's what, it's a fun factor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess we're going to go hands down, show some Local King rubber stamps. Okay. Pardon the interruption. Now I have cut down some hammer mill paper. Um, I keep talking about it, but yes, you guys, this has been my, my secret ingredient lately. <laughs> and I blame Chow. Chow and Stacy, right? Chow and Stacy have been using this paper for a while and haven't told us. And then all of a sudden it slipped. So this has been our secret ingredient paper for the last uh, two months, I think. Um, thank you, Stephanie. This is the paper, Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy Cover. Yes. 80 pounds is good enough. Yeah, 80 pounds. You don't want to go any thicker than that. It's super smooth. It doesn't have a gloss to it, but it is very smooth. It's not the best for foiling in a pinch. You could use it. I still am going to go to Hamilco for my foiling, but for stamping, marker coloring, light water coloring, uh, what else have we been using this for? Blending. It's been pretty good. And I like that you get a lot. I mean, you get a whole ream and it's pretty inexpensive, but Hammer Mill makes a lot of paper. So you want the one with the gecko on the front. So make sure you're getting the right one. That's what that is, right? A gecko, chameleon, whatever. Yeah, it's it is. like a lizard. I'm not sure what kind. You want the one with the lizard. lizard on the front. And I think it is in my Amazon shop now, but this has been, you guys, I haven't bought any Nina in a long time. This is what I've been using. This and Hamilco. Hamilco, I only use for foiling. Nothing else goes in my printer except for Hamilco for foiling. But this is what I've been stamping on. You know what it reminds me of? The old Stampin' Up! Whisper White. For those of you, this I'm talking 10 years ago. Stampin' Up! has changed their white paper. But this is like their super smooth white paper they used to have. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not good for water coloring. Correct. No. No, very light. But it's really great for alcohol marker coloring, yes. which I do a lot of, and I have no problem with this paper. Oh, you know what I need to give away tonight? Hmm, what are you going to give away tonight? Somebody sent me a gently used Tim Holtz platform. I think I need nice. to give that away tonight. So if you don't have a Misty and you would like the gently used Tim Holtz platform, which you cannot purchase in the U.S. You have to purchase it from overseas. Comment. Comment. Hmm, 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 hmm. Comment why you haven't gotten one yet. Why do you not have a stamp positioner? You, you, you must not have any stamp positioner to comment. I want to know why you don't have a stamp positioner. No yes. stamp, no stamp apparatus, no Misty, no Tim Holtz. I want someone who does not have a stamp positioner to tell me why they don't already have a stamp positioner. And we will pick somebody to win. It's just like this. I'll even send you an FSC sticker to put on it. So Ken, you have to tell us why you don't have one. Why don't you yeah, have, you have one to tell these? us why you don't have one? Yeah. What's the logic behind not having one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need a really good answer to send one to you. <laughs> I have a little piece of sticky grid in mine um, just to hold my paper in place, especially when you're doing these full background stamps. And I am going to start with the brand new Tickles. Okay, which, Nancy. Tracy, I have one of these coming your way. Yes, I'm waiting for that. I can't wait to get I know. it. I am waiting for a few more goodies I ordered for you. So oh, this will cool. go in the package. I want to say thanks to Kim in Alaska who sent me Jelly Giggles. And I oh. cannot wait to use this. Look at this, you guys. Sweet. Jellyfish. 
Oh my heavens, they are so and adorable. We will not be offended if you want to go start looking over at Local King Rubber Stamps. Um, hi, Jen, I just showed your card. Hi, Jerry. Hey, everyone. Um, if you want to go shopping while we're showing, because um, they are wonderful stamps. They're high quality red rubber stamps. They're cling mounted. Lisa has the most amazing video series showing how she makes these in her rubber vulcanizer. See, I learned something. How she designs, see, Lisa designs all of her stamps and then yep. she makes them in a rubber vulcanizer, which makes the rubber stamps. And then her and her husband cut them, assemble them and ship them. So this is a, this is the type of companies, you know, we want to support. We want to make sure they're around for a while. She keeps threatening to retire on us, you guys, but I told her she's not allowed. So we have to keep selling her stamps so she doesn't retire. Yes, we have to. We don't want local King rubber stamps to retire. So Nancy, I'm just misting my little magic mushrooms. Just a little bit of water. Oh, okay. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. So I laid mind. this microfiber towel down. I just like a little bit. That's all it takes. Just a tiny little bit of water. That just helps to moisturize it. Like you need to moisturize your face. You have to moisturize your magic mushrooms. I wasn't well, going to say what I wanted to say because Jen's on here and she sent me that beautiful card. So I will spare her. Oh, you mean the word moist. <laughs> Jen, I got your card today too, but I'm still going to say the word. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> I just sprayed my magic mushrooms like a little succulent plant. I sprayed them all. So they're all nice and juicy. Okay. Now. And I'm going to start with a little bit of Catherine Cooler Serenade. And I have my purple magic mushroom. And I just go and gently apply some ink to that. If you want, you can stamp off on a piece of um, scratch paper. I don't feel that's necessary for me tonight. And I'm just going to create a var variation. So it's going to be an ombre type uh, application. And I'm going to start with purple in the top corner. And then I'll stamp that and see how it looks. And then go to my next color and just vary it. Uh, purples, blues, and greens. That's my plan. Now, I have a question. Are you using our other sponsors, Ian? I am using Catherine Pooler ink. Yes. <laughs> so you heard that right. Catherine Pooler is also going to be donating. She just moved into her new building. They are um, putting Ikea furniture together. So she said um, over the next couple of weeks, they will be um, picking some winners for some gift certificates from Catherine Pooler as well. But tonight, you know, since we're talking about local King rubber stamps, I want you guys to know that Lisa has gener has gener generously, I can't speak, generously, she is giving you guys not one, not two, not three, but four, make sure you're sitting down for this, four $50 gift certificates to local wow. King Rubber Stamps. Wow. wow. Wow, that's, that's so amazing. Huge. That's so generous. Thank you. That's Thank huge you. Donation. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Jim. Hey. hey, Sherry. Hi, Wilma. You came at the right time. Nancy just announced the prizes for I'm going Local to. King Rubber Stamp offering prizes. Gift certificates to the Local King Rubber Stamp web store. And I love their stamps. I have lots of their stamps. Yes. We always Sorry. talk about how we want to support these amazing companies. And Lisa is right up there. It's one of our favorite companies. And again, I have been a fan of Lisa's stamps for years and years. I would stalk her booth when she would come to the show. By the way, I just got an email. The Allentown show is the end of October. It's the weekend of Halloween. So if I'll any be of there. you are going to come to the Allentown show, we're going to make a date out of it. Cause you know, I'm going to be, be there. there. I'm yes. going. I'll spend the weekend, but I'll get a hotel room. You don't have to hear me snore. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Drive me around wherever you want to go. It'll be fun. Very fun. For those I, of you who are not familiar with Allentown, um, 
We are an hour and a half away from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and about an hour and 10, 15 minutes from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If that helps you out, we're about an hour and a half from New York City. Nice little area, and it's usually a pretty good turnout at the Allentown show. Nancy, is Thanks. that one of the stamp and scrapbook expos or is that a different? It's heirloom rubber stamp show. Okay. I've never been to one of those. It's one of the bigger ones. Nice. I am just picking different colors of blues and teals and using my, my um, magic mushroom to sponge it on here. And then I'm going to um, stamp it. I'm going to spritz it and stamp it so we have kind of a watercolory look. That's so a great we'll idea. I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. Because it is a water scene for mine. <laughs> I just used the purple and the, I used the Serenade and the Cumberbund from uh, Catherine Puller. That's what I used on mine. And I just re-inked the Cumberbund today. I must really love that color. It's, I just empty to re That's what it. I'm using. Yeah, I must love that color. Um, but I have I have refills. I bought some more. <laughs> I don't ever want to run out of that color. It's my favorite. Now, to make this interesting, I think I want to ink blend this with like a light yellow cuz then when it stamps it'll be a greenish blue. Good idea. So Thank you everyone. That'll work. Hello Sherry. Sherry, I sent you a little birthday present the other day. Tracy Fear, your channel is my new favorite channel to watch. I love how you explain videos. I love the techniques you show. So if you guys are not following Not Afraid of Color on YouTube, go check out Tracy Fear. She did this beautiful technique with using reinkers and um, distress sprays and then she stamped some pretty Lavinia stamps on there and it was just really cool how she did it and I never would have thought of bringing the tools in that she brought I mean she uses everyday items yeah that we all have and I was like this is so cool so go check her channel out my sponge is not moist enough I have to spray it yeah I really learned a lot Tracy I really appreciate how you explained how to use the distressed oxides and then how to use the dye inks that was just perfect and I love I love how you showed to do the vignette in the middle I mean I've never been taught that technique so for me that was perfect it's just what I needed to learn just what I needed and uh, I love how she used like little sponges and different things from around the house she used all kinds of household things I think she had a straw in there yeah she had old makeup sponges um she did all kinds of cool stuff all right never mind my yellow here it's not not as smooth as I would like it I will fix it <laughs> I would definitely recommend this jelly giggles perfect background stamp for your underwater scenes I mean you can't get you can't get much more uh, oceany than that. That is so fantastic. You can do any colors you want. I just used blue and purple. That's all. Um, they're bots, Tracy, and um, email me and I'll show you. There's so many things you can do to to try to ooh um, get rid of the bots, but uh, unfortunately, it happens, and you get pictures of young ladies with their cleavage hanging out and there's nothing we can do about that it just kind of happens yeah you have to delete them from your channel yep now i'm gonna go oh. in with some go ahead i'm using the tickles tickles is what it's called it's got these um peacock feathers and then it has this kind of scripty background so it's very mixed media -ish looking and i'm just inking it up with different colors now some people commented why they don't have a stamping platform let's go pick somebody to win a tim holt stamping platform all right hold please okay Let's look here. Who do we have? <laughs> Tracy said, I have four. Just got the Tim Holtz one. I like it better than the Misty. 
I do too. Erica Voltrausch says I own them all already. <laughs> okay. Diana said she just got this stamp, the so jelly giggles. Oh, I I think I uh I think I found the name and it's only okay. because the name is so cute. Good. Tanya Unicorn. <laughs> what a great name. Tanya Unicorn. Please email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com and I will send you the Tim Holtz stamping platform if you are in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., I will send you something else. Um, she says, I don't have one being a newbie and they are a bit expensive and we all know what that feels like. So thank Absolutely. you, Tanya. Yes. I love your name. So Tanya, hopefully you are in the U.S., because it comes in a, in a I'm going to send it in a priority box. So um, if you are in the U.S., please email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. And I will send you that. And if you're not, send us an address anyway. And I will send you something else. Now, Chow, Chow and Stacy have kind of named some, I want to call them, I guess I'll call them FSC VIPs, where these folks have kind of been in the shadows, but have really stepped up in supporting, um, and I don't mean financially, I mean just being cool people in the FSC, answering questions, helping out, looking for things. Um, so Chow and Stacy have each picked a winner and we're going to give these, these two folks the first two gift certificates to local King rubber stamps. And I do believe both of them are on here because they are always watching our channels. They're always cheering us on. They are always positive. And they, these are the, these are the folks we want to show our appreciation to, um, because again, we wouldn't be at 20,000 and continue to do what we're doing without support with people like them. So the first winner, the first winner is, where's, do I have drum roll on here? Hold on. Where's my sound machine? <laughs> sound effects. We need the sound effects. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Did that come through? Yes. It okay. was, it was so, brief, but we heard it. Yes. Okay. So our first winner is Karen Voller. Yay, Karen Voller. Karen Voller, we have picked you as a as a as a winner. You're going to get $50 to Local King Rubber Stamps. Um, um so please send us an email at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. Now, again, we have four winners to pick from. We have four prize packages from Local King Rubber Stamps. So, Miss Karen, please email us at Foiling Snobs Club so that you can get your $50 to go shopping. Congratulations, Karen, and thank you for all your support. We appreciate you very much. Did we lose Tanya Unicorn? She had that cool name. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. Did she have to jump off? I hmm. don't know. Tanya Unicorn, where'd you go? There's Kim in Alaska. She's the one who gave me this stamp. I need some up here. Oh, thank you, Karen. We wouldn't be able to do this without your support. Show the boys on here some love too. Hey, Ken. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Debbie J. I'm not sure if you're saying hi to me or, or Tracy Fear, but hello anyways. Debbie, I heard you made an awesome hot foiling video and I'm told that I need to go watch it. So I will yes. do that tonight. All right, I'm going to do this again the way I did it before. Let me slide this out of the way. Hi, Jody.
Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's a little too dark. Whoopsie. I'm a learning. I'm getting better. Okay, so this one has a lot of greens and purples and blues. And I'm going to do that final step of spraying the stamp with some water and then give it sort of a watery. You, you did not say that correctly. That is not how Pennsylvania people say it. Water. You say, you say it. <laughs> Philadelphia people say water. Water. <laughs> people Hello, from Pittsburgh. Park, park collector. Okay, so somebody asked a question. What kind of paper am I using? I'm just using the... Hammer Mill premium copy paper. That's all I'm using, using tonight. Yep. yep. It's inexpensive. It's super smooth. Most people can find it anywhere. It is in my Amazon shop. And those of you that are in the UK, yes, you can get it in the UK. It's in my UK Amazon shop in case you didn't know I have that. Um, <laughs> but this paper we found is inexpensive. We've been thoroughly testing it out within our group secretly for the last couple of months. And we've all kind of voted that this is pretty good paper for the majority of what we want to do in terms of stamping, ink blending, um, alcohol markers, and it, it keeps coming to the top of our list. And what we like is that the value is very inexpensive to get a big ream off of Amazon. Yes. Oh, we have Jim Eber on tonight too. Yeah. Jim has recruiting people to our page. That's great. Yes. So these are called Magic Mushrooms from Local King Rubber Stamps. And Local King Rubber Stamps sells these along with the good. beautiful stamps that we're using, which are these new releases, um, background stamps, red rubber. There's Tanya Unicorn. Tanya, please send us an email to foiling snobs club at gmail.com with your address dear what state are you in honey chow's baby bump is so cute i literally make chow get up every time we get on 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 our family calls and i'm like let me see the baby <laughs> yeah She's like, well, the baby likes to kick. That's for yes. sure. Okay. All right. So I did two with the jellyfish. I'm going to clean the jellyfish. I like the way they turned out. Oh, Nancy, that's looking good. Um, they are a little bit, I think, heavier than the blending brushes. For me, the blending brushes are um, very soft for me. I think you really need to dig into the ink for the blending brushes to get the saturation. So these magic mushrooms are give you a more saturated, deeper color. So I have to remember to be uh, more light-handed with these um, magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now that came out better. I like it. Yeah. So for me, using them to make the background and then stamping it came out better than using them to stamp with. I mean, this is nice too. It's very light, it's very subtle, but I think I like this one better. I do too, I like it. So that one's called Tickles. Yep, and mine's called Jelly Giggles. Chow, Chow is, is helping to um, moderate as well as Elizabeth. Thank you both. Somebody but asked Chow for the PayPal link on the side. It's if you um, go out of the video in the top right corner of Nancy Stamps, there is a donate to us button and that will donate through PayPal. 
And like I said, all that PayPal money goes towards purchasing postage to mail the prizes to everybody. Um, so we definitely appreciate when you guys donate and we will send you a thank you card when you donate. And child, don't worry, we'll do all the linking and everything, you know, when we, when we're, um, done. Cause we know you can't get your computer right now. It's okay. Don't worry. Tracy, I think it's time for you to pick a winner. Oh, oh my goodness. And we did want to mention that starting, um, actually almost immediately, <laughs> If you've won a prize in the last 30 days, obviously we've mailed out 20 packages, 25 packages between the two of us in the last couple of days. Um, if we can't remember everybody, but if you have won a prize in the last 25 days, if you could just be honest and let us know so we can share the love with someone who hasn't won. And then going forward, when we do stamp wars, we're going to make sure that we keep a track of who won so that we can make sure that not all the same people are winning. We do appreciate everybody commenting but we want to make sure that we give everybody a fair chance at winning. One moment. Chow did put that link in for um, PayPal. PayPal. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth did. did. Okay, Looks it. like Elizabeth did. Sorry, Elizabeth yep. did. Okay. Now comes the hard part. Now I have to pick a winner. Hmm. Let me think about it here. What kind of question can I ask the group to answer? Hmm. Karen said, did the male people hide behind the desk? So funny you would say that. I actually went Sunday night and dropped them off at the post office because my post office does have a drop box. I can slide everything in. But today I went to a different post office and dropped them off. And the lady's like, she just looked at me. And I'm like, they already have postage on them. They just need to be mailed. <laughs> she just gave me this look. Like, here I come with these big pink polka dotted packages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just trying to think of what kind of question I can ask before picking a winner. <laughs> ask them what they like about local King Rubber Stamps. Thank you, Nancy. So please, in the chat box, please tell me what you like about Local King rubber stamps. Stamp. All right. My packages went out yesterday and today, and my husband was kind enough to take them to the post office for me. But they were so big, he had to go inside. He couldn't just do it on the outside where you kind of drive by and slide your envelope in yeah so, yeah okay now we're going to play with flower garden that's the name of this stamp set hey, that's what i'm playing with i know that's why i grabbed it i figured we'd be like twins uh, for... i'm using my favorite color pucker up pucker up don't forget to moisten your um magic mushroom Yeah, I think these magic mushrooms, like, I just think they're perfect for these background stamps. I really think they're just quick and easy. And sometimes when you are just trying to get that Ooh. nice background, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be bothered with. I'm going to leave this one alone. That one difficult. came out really good. I'm just going to leave that something one alone. That's... That looks perfect. Oh. Ooh. Where is some of that pretty background paper I bought? Because it's not like I didn't buy 800 packs of paper this week. She was on a paper purchasing spree. <laughs> it's all so pretty. I couldn't walk away. It kept calling my name. You know. Hey Tracy, you got a lot of people saying they like the magic uh -huh. mushrooms. They love the details of her stamps. They love that Lisa is fun and her stamps are unique. 
They love that there are stamps with dyes. I mean, a lot of good reasons to love the local King rubber stamps. It's going to be tough for you to pick a winner, Tracy. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, yeah. I love this background stamp. These flowers are so pretty. Magic mushrooms are blending tools available through Local King Rubber Stamp. Tonight, we are featuring the new release of the background stamps from Local King Rubber Stamp. And we're giving away some prizes from Local King Rubber Stamp. So this is an exciting night for us. And Lisa, the owner, was on earlier. And so if you have any questions about Local King, you can always ask them in the chat. This is... Go ahead. Yep. Um, they're from Canada. So Any I just question? grabbed a piece of pattern paper and I am going to use the same background stamp without making the background. And I'm going to stamp it in black and wait till you guys see how awesome this is. I'm going to use Catherine Pooler's Midnight Ink because it is safe on my rubber stamps. <laughs> That's right. So Gloria had a question. How do they stand up when you are rubbing them over the stamp? Well, they're smushy, but they're not flat. They're not they don't too go flat. soft. They're kind of firm. Yeah. They're like makeup sponges. And you do not want to get these too wet because I learned the hard way. They literally balloon up. They're like, and they balloon up and it takes like three weeks for them to go back down. So you just want to lightly mist them. Or what uh, Lisa does and what Tracy's doing is have a, a rag that's slightly damp and just kind of um, take the moisture from your rag and then apply that to the sponge. And that's also how you would clean them if you wanted to clean them. And it's enough moisture to keep the sponge damp, but also keep your ink on there. If, because if it's too dry, your ink is too concentrated and you get kind of blobbies like I was getting. So I learned that I have to really kind of keep this moist, but not wet. And then it won't balloon up, but they're a kind of a firm sponge. So they're not too squishy. And I just kind of hold the edges of my sponge so that I have more control over them. Thank you, Jen X. We got a Thank super you. chat. Thank you. As soon as I'm done with this, I will pick a winner, okay? <laughs> so keep <Yep>. commenting. <laughs> Tracy would pick everybody if she could. It's so hard yes. for her. Yeah. I would be like Oprah Winfrey. Like you win a I, gift I pulled, I pulled the Leah and just picked it by the name. I think okay. that pad is super juicy. That is really juicy. That's okay. A little too juicy. It's all oh. very juicy. Hi, this Deborah. Looks pretty, looks pretty with pink and orange together. I used catching rays and pucker up. Cheryl said, I love Lisa's videos. She's funny. She gives good tips on saving money and she does great instructional videos. That's right. Yes. I learned a lot from Lisa. Me too. Thanks her videos Roberta. are so, her videos are so clear. Like it's like you're sitting right beside her. They're crystal clear. Oh, that's a good question. Jim Eber wants to know, can you lift ink with the mushrooms? You know, I probably should have did that after I <gasps> stamped down my mushy mess. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm going to stamp it one more time. Yeah. Cool. Cool looking effect there. Who would have thought I watercolored that? And I did it. See that? Nancy and her five minute cards. Thank you, Deborah, for the $25 super chat. Wow. Thanks, Deborah. You guys yeah. are so awesome. Yeah, I agree. Lisa, Lisa is very entertaining. To mail out. <laughs> yeah, more prizes. <laughs> more thank you cards. Yes, Lisa is very entertaining, but she. Make uh, sure you guys email us your address if you're donating because I want to send you thank you cards. Yes. Anybody who has uh, super chatted or donated to PayPal, Make sure you send us your email address. And our email oh, address is, is so foiling cool. snobs club at gmail. Foiling snobs club at gmail.com. 
I'm going to dry this and cut it down. That just looks amazing. Just using some pattern paper. That's cool. Here's my first panel with the flower garden. I used a little bit of catching rays and a little bit of pucker up. So I think that turned out awesome. I'm definitely going to do another one. <laughs> it's a beautiful stamp, just gorgeous. You could, you can make a card using it landscape, or you can use it portrait. You know, you can decide which way you want to turn it. It doesn't, you know, it can go any direction you like. It's just so pretty. Let's do another one. All right, but first I have to pick a winner. Okay. I was going to say, you need to pick a winner. That's right. <laughs> I get a little bit distracted with Here all the have pretty. Tiny yeah. Unicorn won the Tim Holtz platform, and Karen Voller won the first $50 from local King Rubber Stamps. Okay, let's see. So Tracy's question was, what do you like about local King Rubber Stamps? All right, I'm going to go through and look. I like that I can call Lisa and hang out with her like I hang out with you guys. <laughs> I don't like that Lisa keeps talking about retiring. No, we, we're going to keep her working. We're just going to keep selling her stamps. That's right. Oh, look how pretty this came out, you guys. Oh, it's and this paper cool. pearlescent, so there's shimmer to it. Mm-hmm. And this is just a six by six paper pack I picked up at Joann's. Pretty, me likey. She does have amazing customer service. Ooh, okay, I got two of each. Let's, I'm just gonna stamp, I'm gonna make all you guys as thank you cards while we're on camera here. Oh, I found one. Okay, go ahead. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> You're always losing things. Well, I do. I'll find it. Just give me one second. Okay. So Sherry D said, Lisa, she is so funny. I love the way you can color the stamps with markers and then stamp. So that's the one I thought was a great comment. And I picked as a winner, Sherry D. All right, Cherry D. If you're still here, congratulations, Sherry D. That's a great, right. great comment. Yeah, we do have the um, markers that Local King Rubber Stamp sells that you can color in. Um, like if you have, well, the first time we, we used them was with the goldfish. That was such a pretty set was cool okay, one moment please i need to check my messages well thanks everyone i'm glad you like my colors very summery i thought like it reminds you of hawaii or something you know okay you want to see the card close up oh okay. yes that is they beautiful want beautiful color combination this one is the blue and the green, and this one is the purple and the blue. I'll, I'll hold it if you can see it close up. You want to see that close up? Okay. And then this is the flower. I held that. I held that one up already. Flower garden. The possibilities are endless. You could even do like a rainbow. I'm bringing in the perfect storm and I did order the cranes. I cannot wait for the cranes to get here so I can use them with this wave. This could be wind, this could be water, it can be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to see about doing something a little different here. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try it. So this is a piece of white holographic cardstock that I alcohol inked on. And it's really cool, but some of that alcohol ink is starting to kind of rub off of there because it sits on top of that holographic paper. 
And so I'm going to stamp over it to cover it up. Okay. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to heat emboss it. Let's see how that works. I might be a little ambitious here. That ought to be interesting. Have this Hero Arts embossing powder. It's very chunky. It has clear and blue in it. And I think it's called Sparkling C. So, cause I don't want to hide the alcohol ink. I just kind of want to protect some of it. So I thought this would be kind of, yeah. I'm gonna go in with my embossing tool, uh, which is now scratching everything. Okay, that was not a good idea. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have three different colors of ink. I have Cumberbund, Seafoam and Stone Blue. And I'm going to um, use that to make um, an ombre look of the waves or the wind, whichever one you figure Whatever it is. you want it to be, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, lift ink would have been cool if this were fresh alcohol ink, but this is dried up crusty alcohol ink. <laughs> dried up crusty. <laughs> Lift ink would have been great. That's a great idea, Tracy. I'm going to have to keep that in mind for next time. Just using clear Versamark, super sticky ink. It's my only ink I use for embossing. Do, did, 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 did our winner say she's here? I should have wrote her name down. Sherry D.? Did we lose her? Why do people keep leaving before we? Uh, <laughs> they're shopping. They're shopping. Oh yeah, good point. Yes. Thanks, Bonnie. Hopefully, it is. Hard to see because this ink is so see-through. I think I got most of it. So I'm transitioning to a green color next, which is sort of like a bluish green. It's called sea foam. That'd be quite messy. You know, when you start doing something and you're like, I don't think I thought this through all the way. That's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> so for storage, there is a piece of acetate included in the packaging. And so, yes, the stamps will re-adhere -ad to this piece of acetate and you've got your cover and then you can slide it back down in the um, paper sleeve that it came with, or you have, maybe you have your own stamp sleeves that you could use. Yep, Lisa sends you a piece of acetate with the stamp for yep. storage. All right, I'm going to heat this from the bottom just because this is extra chunky embossing powder. Okay. Hopefully Zoom should mute my noise. Okay. Um, I don't know that I noticed the mushroom grabbing the stamp. It just glides right across for me because I sprayed it first with some water. So if your mushroom seems to be like skipping or grabbing onto the stamp, you might want to spray a little bit of water on it. I just have this spray bottle from a hair product that I had. I just spray it one time and that is fine. And you don't have to spray a lot of water on it. Just a little bit. That's all it takes just to moisten it some. Well, this is looking good, y'all. I'm liking these colors together. Okay, now we're going to use stone blue. Just gonna rub my magic mushroom on my microfiber towel because the last color I used of blue was cummerbund and I want it to be having contrast so it doesn't look exactly the same. So let me show you here once I get my all you have to do is just rub it inside of that microfiber towel. Okay, and you're gonna get some of that ink off, so that'll work.
Okay, I'm gonna spritz this with a little bit of water and go ahead in with my stone blue. Okay, I like this idea. I don't like my execution. So I'm going to retry this on plain paper in a little different fashion here. You can definitely see the waves on there, but I think it's just too much going on with that extra thick embossing powder and the glitter and the alcohol ink and the holographic. It just, you really can't see anything. <laughs> it's very too much, too much going on there. So I'm gonna try this again, but I wanna try it in a different fashion here. Yeah, you can clean them. I don't recommend cleaning them. Mm -hmm. I don't clean my blenders because again, once they soak up all that water, they, yep. they, they just kind of expand. So you can just take your, your rag like Tracy's doing and you just dab, that's why, they're, that's why there's different colors so you can keep them in the same color family. So I believe when you get them, it's all 10 colors, right? You don't just buy two at a time. There's a set, correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a set. And then these, are these part of the set, the little handles? The uh, You can purchase those little okay, so uh, that's separate. acrylic. Yep, but they they're do sold come together or separately, whichever you prefer. To you, they come shipped to you in a box and they have these little storage containers. So you can keep them clear of dust and it's very nice to put them back in the box and put them away so I only pull my my handles out when I'm working on them and then when I'm done I put everything back in the box that way I don't lose them and I don't have to worry about the dog chewing on them yep I do the same thing I put them back in their little plastic containers and I I, I don't think I'll ever put mine underwater because I like them to be this shape I don't want them to ex expand but I do sometimes clean them on my microfiber towel just between colors because I'm trying to get a gradient of colors here. I'm trying to get so that the cummerbund looks different than this um, stone blue. I'm only using one color of green, seafoam. All right, I'm gonna try this again, but I'm gonna use ultra fine, just plain clear embossing powder white paper. Ooh, this is really looking pretty. Wow. I'm going to go back to the cummerbund. Okay. Just going to go like that. Clearly I didn't clean my stamp very well, but that's okay. That looks cool. So I think it's time to announce another VIP. Thank you. That Someone has again contributed to the FSC and this person actually um, donated a laser printer yesterday. I know they wanted to remain anonymous, but I just thought that was an amazing thing to donate. And they paid to ship it from where they live all the way to the winner who actually lives in my state. <laughs> Super so, generous. This VIP wins the next um, $50 gift certificate. And the winner of that is Jerry Wheaton. Yay, Jerry, congratulations. Thank you for all you do for the FSC. Yes. Right, and I'm going to use clear embossing powder. And we still have one more $50 gift certificate. And we're going to randomly pick someone here to win to. Oh, wait, uh, there's Sherry D. She said, cool. Thank you all. Sherry D. also just had a birthday, just sent her a birthday gift. Oh, is that Sherry? Yep. From North Carolina. I didn't know that was her. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. Well, 
Um, Sherry, you missed that I picked your name at a random of all the names to win a gift certificate to local King rubber stamp. Yes. Yeah, so you, if you don't have these sponges, you can get them magic mushrooms. I would highly recommend the sponges as a, a way to use your gift certificate. Well, and on the new spring release stamps, like that's right. Cranes and jellyfish and the cutesy little animals. What do we, what is it called? The eyes have it. Eyes have it. <laughs> That's the one Tracy they, and No, I they have eyes. They have eyes. That's what it is. Tracy and I are waiting on that. And I got the cranes. Oh, I'm in love with this stamp. It's so Van Gogh-ish. Look at that. Yes. I love it. Oh, the colors are just perfect together. So you see up here, I use cummerbund. And that is a blue like a bright blue. And then over here I use stone blue, which is more of a muted blue. And I clean my magic mushroom in between so you could see the difference between the two colors. And you know, you don't have to do that. It's just that that's the effect that I was going for to have this um, ombre look. Thanks, Kiki. Oh, eyes have it, it's called. Eyes have it. All right, Sherry's taking care of her mom. So she's gonna step away. Sherry, I've been keeping you uh, in our prayers and your mom too. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I can't get enough of it. I'm gonna have to do another one. This time I'm just gonna do all blue. Ooh. All right, so I did mine with clear heat embossing, and I'm just going to put some blue ink on it and see how my resist looks. And if you guys miss out on tonight's prizes, head on over to the Foiling Snobs Club. I have a post there that says show me your favorite card and I have been picking winners my teammates have been picking winners and we have been telling you guys you win send us your address and so um, if you have not checked comments over there you might want to go check comments it's not it doesn't have to be a card that you made um, just want you to post a card that you like and we have been randomly picking folks and just saying, hey, send us your address. And we have been mailing them prizes. Look at this. Look at this stamp. Okay, this is the perfect stamp. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. That looks good. You know, I'm you can do, do one color way. or you can do ombre color. Either way, it's a beautiful background. I just moisten my rag. I like using microfiber towels because they're easy to clean up. They don't leave flyaways on your stamps. You don't have to worry about killing the environment. They're washable. Yeah, so they get a little stained. It does not affect the way that they work. So I'm just taking that moisture off of the rag and putting it on my sponge. And then I'm going to dip into a little bit of cummerbund first. And I'm going to start off of the top of the page here and blend my way down. Oh, yeah, they definitely work better when they have a little bit more yep. uh, moisture to them. Yep. That's way better. I was too dry before. Yeah, you have to moisten them. That's that's the key to um, success with magic mushrooms. Right. Nobody likes it too dry, ladies. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Let's do that again. So I'm going to spray a little bit on my rag here. And then I'm going to take my sponge and just magic mushroom and dab that in there. Oh, I have the koi. Yes. It's a great idea. Hi, Chris Lynn. Jim, I agree with you. The jellyfish that's coming my way, I think. Hoo -hoo. I think somebody sweet is gifting it to me. Oh, you. 
you're not supposed to know about that. Okay, well. Lisa, did I put those in the basket? I don't remember. <laughs> My stamp is called, ha ha ha, it's called Perfect Storm. Yes. Yep. Okay. Look at how nice I blended that line right I out. think you're using See the same that? one, right, Nancy? Yep. And I just went in with cummerbund at the top, Fiesta Blue at the middle, and now I'm going to use the same magic mushroom, and I'm going to go in with something borrowed. We have 119 people watching, so that's cool. Don't forget the thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to mine and Tracy's channel for more fun content, giveaways, foiling, stamping, all the goodies. That's cool. Well, I that think, looks great. I think my cummerbund is too light. I'm going to drag a little bit of this color into there. I'm trying to be very light about it. Yep, so you're going over it after you stamp it, right? Yeah, I did the white, I'm sorry, clear heat embossing. Okay. And someone said koi fish. So I think I'm going to bring the koi fish in. Oh, yes. Local King. This is what got me addicted to Local King rubber stamps. Is she has the most amazing collection of Asian stamps. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like collecting Asian stamps, Asian designs. You know, a lot of people like the, the exotic Oof. differences in Asian cultures. Although you would not think my house is that exotic when you smell when my mom's cooking sometimes. You're like, oh my God, what did she kill in there? But it does taste good. So my most recent panel that I stamped, I just used leftover ink that was on the stamp. And I sprayed it with water. And then I just took my magic mushrooms with whatever ink was on there and I went over it. This is a very light background and it's very watercolory but I like it. So if you guys remember when we did Stamp Wars with Local King rubber stamps, we did Goldfish. Mm -hmm. These guys, Pond Friends, they are super cute. What are they called? Fancy Goldfish? They're so cute. But I have, okay, so she has some beautiful wave stamps. Nancy's a little obsessed. So this one is called Regular Waves. And then there's a newer one that came out last summer and it is called, hold on. This is what happens when you have 8 million stamps. It takes a minute yeah. to find them all. Here's my koi fish. Oh, don't forget about this one. This one was really hot. This is called Dew. And I'm going to pull that one out. Look at that one. You tell me yeah, that doesn't look like real bubbles. We're going to use that one. So that one's called Dew. Dew the Dew. Mountain Dew. Um, where's my other wave? Oh, here it is. This is called Ocean Waves. So all of these kind of work together with all of her underwater ocean themed stamps she has so many with the we have the goldfish we have the koi fish i love this one with the sea turtle it's called sea life she just released a new one with a little jar and it has all these little sea creatures in there it's so cute um definitely go check out the new releases but i want to bring in these the koi koi pond fish and i want to show you guys how to color these another product that I love that Lisa has are the markers and she mm -hmm. should call these magic markers because they she are should. magical and I have my little my little template laminated die cutting templates out here I have the riding the wave combo set which is the sea turtles um, mm -hmm. because since I just stamped all those waves I need to 
put something on top of all those waves. So yes. I'm going to add the sea turtles. I'm going to stamp out some koi fish here and I'm going to use the markers so that you guys can see how handy these markers are. And I'm are. going to use the markers too. <laughs> so these are Lisa's salad stamps. And if you've never seen the genius behind how these work, sorry, I keep hitting my camera, is yes. Like a normal stamp, you could certainly just ink these up, um, but then they would be all one color. Maybe you get a little bit of ombre out of it. Lisa's genius, artistry skills, which is why we love her, because she always comes up with something new and different, is she has these water-based markers. So you, she always says, use what you have, but she's being modest. Um, I have the very expensive Korean markers, which I love. I'm not going to say that I don't, but they are very expensive markers. For a fraction of the cost, you can get a 24 set. She also has a bigger set of the markers, but you can get a 24 set of these markers, and these are very hardy markers. So they have a felt tip, and you can color on them. You can blend with them, and if you get a little bit of bleeding, it's really easy to clean up. So I want to show you how easy it is to color and stamp with these markers. I'm going to start with a little orange, obviously, you know, that would be the easiest way to go. And I'm going to add this kind of orangey red. I used to work where we had 20, forget 27 koi fish. So I got to look at them all the time. Yeah, they were very pretty. Here's a little bit of black. We're gonna do his whiskers. We're gonna give him a little black stripe on his um, tail and his fin. One thing I like little... about these, no huffing required. You do not have nope. to huff. Nope. You just color and and your use your stamp positioning tool and the color will transfer over to your panel. Jody, yes, go and check out Lisa's channel because she gives you, she gives you her story. She shows you how she makes her stamps. Look at that. Yeah. So pretty. Okay, let's Very do this pretty. other guy. We're gonna make him with lots. Of, look, like a uh, three-year-old could do this. Like seriously, I don't like the colors. You guys may know. I like quick, easy, fast cards. So I can literally take a marker and take the next color and it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt my markers. Even if you go darker to lighter, lighter to darkest, whatever you want to do. And I've never played with this sea turtle set before. So I'm excited. I remember when she did a little make and take and my son was about, I don't know, six years old and he did this little make and take and Lisa was so nice and letting him do this. And it's still hanging on my kitchen refrigerator. Of course, oh, that's you know, awesome. he won't go to stamp shows with me anymore, but I still have this little make and take little turtle that she let my little son stamp. Now he's almost 15. So yeah. <laughs> what a great memory. Now, see, I think he's a little too yellow. I want to add a little bit more orange in there. No problem. He has like a little birthmark thing going on. I forget what they call it. So there was a video I watched on YouTube the other day about these koi fish and how they do like these koi fish farming in Japan. And then Ooh. you can pay like not just thousands of dollars like people collect these koi fish like they collect expensive exotic cars and they are the price of expensive exotic cars really based on, based on their coloring their origin which um which uh, breeder you get it from oh yeah like there's like expensive genealogy and all kinds of stuff and they have like these koi fishing contests uh koi breeding contests so there are certain kind of markings on the fish which determine the value of the fish. So it's pretty cool. I had no idea. And if you do not watch Lisa's YouTube channel, you definitely want to subscribe to that because she has a special going on right now 
where she has some additional discounts yes. to her webpage. Um, and a lot of times she will do, she's doing card swaps right now as well. So those of you who like to make cards and send them to folks where she will send you a card back. And a lot of times she'll even like e put you on the email list if you sign up and you can get special other discounts. Yes. Yep. So it definitely is worth your while to check out the local King rubber stamp YouTube channel and their um, newsletter, sign up for their newsletter, go to their website and sign up for their newsletter because lots of times they'll send people special discounts and announce special sales. Definitely worth it. It's okay, Susie. We're just um, playing with the new release from Local King Rubber Stamp, the backgrounds, and we're adding some of the other stamps that we have in our collection so that we can have a uh, scene. We're building a scene for our cards. I'm playing with the turtles Ooh. and Nancy is coloring in the koi fish. My set is called Riding the Wave. We're mixing new and old. I don't like yes. to say new and old because I don't think that she retires her, very many stamps. Like and, her stamps are all current. And they're current. She doesn't retire that many. And they're for all occasions. You can definitely use something like this for thinking of you or get well or happy birthday. Yes. And if you watch Lisa's with. channel, she's very much like me. She says all the time, use what you have. She doesn't um, use a lot of pattern paper because she always says, I make my own pattern paper. And she really makes some cool videos. I love watching her videos. And, you know, a lot of techniques she used are techniques that I think a lot of us have seen. And maybe we just kind of forgot about them. And she rejuvenates them and brings them back to life. And they just, they're amazing. Yep. So in case you guys didn't catch it, we're using the Local King... Um, the Local King rubber stamp markers. I have a set of 24 here. And they're just a dream to use when you're coloring in your stamps from Local King. Mm -hmm. And Lisa just sponsored us on Stamp With Me. So Lisa has been amazing at supporting my channel, supporting the FSC. She's even done foiling, you guys. I'm so proud of her. Yes. She's really getting the hang and the foiling foiling bug has bit her of doing the foiling and um she's made some amazing beautiful arts and she's just a lovely person like she's so yep. nice she's so genuine she's amazing so if you guys can help support her i know she's trying to retire but nah we'll just keep her working <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna cut these guys out you colored them already. All right, you're way yeah, ahead of me. I only did three of them. Okay. Oh, I have a little bit of a larger scene than you. Okay, I'm almost done. Just got to color in my algae and my seashells. Oh, I love this stamp. I used to have a turtle when I was a teenager. What was his name? Her name? Whatever. No, I don't think I had a name for him. <laughs> This turtle. It this was just turtle. my turtle. But I felt bad the and two I, Oh, probably. I let him oh. free. He was just a oh. regular turtle like they find in the creek or whatever. And I was looking at him inside the aquarium and I thought, you know what? This turtle deserves to be out there with other turtles. No matter how much I love them, I want them to have like a life outside of this aquarium. So we took them to a nice little area where there were turtles. Aww, that's nice. So yeah. Lisa gives this really good tip when you are using her dyes. She says to make yourself a template. And I did. I, I laminated a piece of paper and cut this out. And what this template allows you to do is you put your stamped image underneath and then you can line up your dye in the perfect position before you run it through your die cutting machine so i can see exactly where my die needs to go oops use the right die notes 
as I go through this template. And then what you do is you run it through your machine and cut it out. Now, for the sake of time, I am going to be lazy and just kind of stick these on. But there is a proper way of doing this so that it does line up appropriately and cuts the little whiskers out. So do as I say, not as I do in this case. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. We still have one more $50 gift certificate to give away to someone from local King Rubber Stamps. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over that. That's so sweet of her. She's just a cool person. Just so much fun to hang out with. Yep. Her videos are so much fun to watch. No doubt. And she does this awesome card exchange. So if you send her a card, she'll send you a card. Super sweet. Yep, Stacy, we've given away what two already or three already? We've Nancy. given away three $50 gift certificates and a Tim Holtz sampling platform. Yeah. Tonight is a good night to be watching Nancy Stamps. And we are still <laughs> taking entries. Hey, I lined those up pretty good. We are still taking entries into the favorite card um, post in the FSC. So if you don't win tonight, we still have fabulous prizes to give away at the Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook. And you must answer all the questions to get in. Yeah, when you go to join, there's a list of questions. Please make sure you answer those so we can let you in. All right, Darlene, I hope you enjoy your new stamps. Yeah, $50 each, Stacy. $200 she donated. Yes, Lisa is amazing. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. Mary, I posted in the uh, Foiling Snobs Club group, there is a eBay page for UK residents. And then I linked about four different places you could get them from HSN, Amazon, um, Joann's, and Etsy are the four different places we ordered holographic paper from. Nancy, your stamp is called Pond Friends, right? That one is called Koi Pond. Pond Friends are the little goldfish, the fancy goldfish. Okay, so there's two different, okay. There's two different ones. I'll show you that one too, hold on. Somebody said they couldn't find the Koi. Hey, Lisa, you're back. <laughs> Nancy and I are stamping some of your beautiful Don't stamp Don't curse sets. us out for making everybody see, look at your amazing stamps. We won't let you retire. It's just not going to happen. Right. You missed us making some beautiful backgrounds. Everybody loves this perfect storm. Everybody loves this. And we said we definitely need to put some kind of aquatic on, on top of this. So I'm so, doing the um, riding the wave. So pond friends are the fancy goldfish. And then you get a little bit of um, foliage. And then koi pond, you get two of the koi fish. Actually, three koi fish. I have one underneath my little die cut there. And then you get this lily pad with the lily flowers. What's a flower cool. called? Is that called a crocus? Is that what that's called? not sure and we are using hammer mill paper we just told everybody our paper secret you guys sorry secrets out so i'm gonna cut this down to a little smaller than five and a quarter by four <laughs> Thank you, Lisa, for being so generous. We've already given away some of the gift certificates. Now we, we love are... you, Lisa. Oops. Yep, still now we are getting ready to pick one more winner. 
We told everybody that they need to subscribe to your YouTube channel, Lisa, and that they need to sign up for your newsletter because sometimes you will offer special discounts to people who are watching you on YouTube and also that you sometimes will send to your newsletter subscribers a discount announcement. Yes, Tracy's reminding everybody that there is a 20% off sale and on the new spring release, I believe that's free shipping. Are things 20% off still? I think her regular stuff is, yes. Yes. Can't beat that, folks. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Turtles and some seaweed and some seashells. And my tape. Oh, yes. I'll tape this down so I can get it through my Gemini Junior. Okay, and then these go right on top. Easy peasy for lining up as far as that goes. Easy peasy. Look at that. That lined up really nice. I don't have any card bases made up. <sighs> sure. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I cut out my seashells correctly. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run this through my Gemini Junior. Maybe if I can get it off the craft table, flash desk. <laughs> I also want to remind everybody that if you are in the FSC card swap, that your cards need to be mailed out today. <laughs> because we do get emails from folks when they don't get their cards in time, they start to worry that they mailed out, you know, four, five, six cards and they want to get their four, five, six cards back. So if you have not got your cards done and in the mail, time is up. Get on it now. That being said, we know that life happens. And if you need some help, you don't think you're going to be able to get your cards out in time. All you got to do is email us and we will cover for you. We will send out some cards for you. Um, all you have to do is ask. Don't be ashamed of it. A lot of things have happened over the last few months. And we know that, you know, sometimes card making, you know, that's at the back, back burner of real life. So um, if you, if you fell behind and you need some, some, you need to tag us in, just send us an email and say, Hey, I can't get my cards out. Can you guys help me out? Stacy, look at this one. Ooh, that's yeah, beautiful. Let, let her figure out how I did it. <laughs> oh, here we go. The moment of truth. Here we go. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. They're just so cool. Look at that. There's even little um, embossed sections where you can fold it to get a 3D effect. So his head, his head is movable. Oh, it's so cool. Now, which one do I want to use? Actually, this one, the last one that I did, the one that was real watercolory, like that on there. My turtles. They're having so much fun riding the wave. Wow. Cool. Okay. I have some black card stock that I cut earlier for my background, I mean, for my card panel. Now I just have to see where I laid it. Where did I put it? Hmm. 
That's good. It's right here. Okay. I found it. All right. Remember, if you have donated through Super Chat or PayPal, every dollar helps. Don't feel obligated don't to donate. Don't feel obligated to donate a certain amount. Every dollar helps. It goes towards postage for mailing out all of these prize packages. Um, yes. That's why, Lisa, we decided to um, do gift cards with Lisa because that way you guys can pick out what you wanted. And I don't have to worry about her shipping me anything and me shipping it to you guys. So you get $50 to purchase whatever you want from local King Rubber Stamps because that's just how awesome she is. So we've had a lot of generous donations. I have a limited edition stamp timber set coming from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Um, you cannot purchase the stamp set unless you want to pay $115 on eBay. And I better not see if you win this stamp set on eBay. Um, so we have quite a few gifts. We have Catherine Pooler generously donating. So gifts just keep coming in from all kinds of sponsors. And I want to thank you guys, Gloria, with her, um, her beautiful pins, her glue topper pins. So you guys are just so awesome. And just you guys being here is support enough um, mm -hmm. and helping us get to where we're at and helping us be, you know, the group that loves to give away stuff. I know a lot of people don't like to do giveaways and they don't like the complications of it. We love giving you guys stuff. So we get excited when we get stuff that we can send you guys. And I also want to thank a lot of you guys for donating. A lot of you have donated your gently used products or your doubles because you know sometimes we do happen to buy doubles and instead of you guys returning them you've sent them to us and so we've been able to share the love with the rest of the team so just want you guys to know we really do appreciate you and are very humbled by everything you guys have done to support us yep, we absolutely everything we every little bit counts for sure every little bit counts and helps Keeps I was the FSC going. Yep. I was using the Stampin' Up trimmer because it has a score on it. So it's just easier for me to cut and score on that. All right. I'm looking for my foam tape. Has anybody seen it? Do you find your new heat tool yet? No. Nope. No, I did not find it yet. It is somewhere in my room that needs cleaned out yet because I don't <laughs> have my craft room completely organized yet. I, I heard a little bird tell me that you're going to be giving away more things. I am going to be giving away more because <laughs> I have a, an abundance of things that will not fit in my craft room. And if it doesn't fit, it has to go. Yes, Denise, I do believe they do because she's in Canada. So, yes. Yes, Denise. Yes. We do have an international group. So when people sign up for the card swap, they indicate whether they would like to do international or not. No, she so wanted to know local king ships international. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought she asked okay. earlier about that. But the... thank you for answering that. For those of you, yes, that were wondering about the card swap, yes, we do do international. Yes. Thanks, Reed. Oh, Vivian's talking about fishing. Yes, Jen, um, you can send us Jen, an email. Yes. There is only one company which we will not accept, and we can talk about that off camera. I think yes, you already you, know. If you send us an email, foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com, if you have something you want to donate, let us know what it yes. is. And we just we'll ask that they not be, how can I politely put this? Garage junk. sale items. We don't want junk. <laughs> yeah. Some people have, you know, with good intention, <laughs> sent us what I call garage sale items where um, they've been used, but they're from 1985. And then don't think that anybody would really use them. And so they sent them to us. And so we've had to donate those to Salvation Army. So, um, you know, recent, recent items that are not too banged up. Uh, yes. Yes, or like absolutely. I said, doubles. Doubles. If you buy double, you all buy doubles. Okay. Oh, Jan, you're so funny. Jan said my wax ceiling set <laughs> and my heat gun have run off I'm going to send you some wax seals. I had a company contact me, so we'll see if they follow through with what they were supposed to send me on wax seals. I also have some guest spot, uh, guest design spellbinders is sending me some stuff. 
I have in my hot little hands a new set from Simon Hurley that I think you guys are going to love. Um, so yeah. Now, where are those little thank you notes? I just got in the mail today. Happy mail. Thank you, VIP, for sending these. Perfect timing. Hi, Michelle Oss from Australia. That's a cool name. Yeah, Tina and Mixie, we don't want your cricket that doesn't work. That's okay. We no, <laughs> no, no. That's got to go in the garbage. Somebody, Yvonne said sometimes she thinks she has triple of some stamps. <laughs> yeah, that happens too. I try to take a little inventory book with me. I'll show that to you guys someday if, I, if you haven't seen it so that I don't double buy. Um, speaking of machines, I think that Miss um, Stacy, I think is selling a scan and cut 350 like the one my scan and cut angel sent me. And ooh, 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 I am been hooked up. Um, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, these are so cute. They're tiny little thank yous. I don't know who makes these. She didn't write down who they who makes them, but this where's that? So when you guys donate, that might be too too pinky for that. We send you guys thank you cards. Oh, that looks pretty on there though, right? I need my little baby Zyron. Well, I didn't get to play with all my background stamps. I still have more. <laughs> I'll have to do this again, Nancy. Yes. Ooh, I like this one better. I'm gonna use my fine tip glue topper. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. This was a lot of fun. We still have to pick one more winner, Tracy. You wanna go ahead and do that? <laughs> okay. Should we get Leah to pick somebody? Yes, that's always I don't know fun. Where she's at. Hey Leah. She was she was assisting. Um, while the door was getting installed today. So my ex-husband came and installed the door today. So she was, she was annoying him. And she's like, why didn't you bring my brother over here? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, well, he has school. But she said, I helped today. When they needed a drink, I got them a drink. Well, good. Yes. I've got some really pretty thanks that I can put. Oh my gosh, look at that. Woohoo, that's perfect. It's, um... Um, it's some kind of foil cardstock that says thanks, yeah. but it's like twinkly. Yeah, this is CP's thanks, isn't it? Yes. Doesn't it look pretty on that card? Woo, pretty. Okay, that one. Let's see what we can put on our. Let's see how quick jellyfish we one. This was a very nice, thoughtful contribution from our vip who sent all these awesome things hey, anybody that wants to die cut stuff for me i will take it okay that's right <laughs> helps or, us so much or color color stuff i will take it i've gotten card fronts before where all i have to do is just glue it onto a card base i will take it <laughs> i've got this beautiful sparkly thanks and also a black one so i think i'll just like layer those so that it's sort of an offset. Looks really nice with the jellyfish. It's very sparkly. That's oh, great. I hate when my Xyron does that. It gives me boogers. I apologize now for the Xyron boogers if you get this card. Oh, yes. Thanks. This is so cool. Lots to choose from here. And I got them a little tangled, but that's my fault for not putting them in there right. So that's how I like to do them sometimes, like an offset, so you can sort of see the shadow. That's pretty. That's a good idea. Okay, so I'll show you how I do mine. 
I do have a Xyron, but lately I have been using this Zig two-way glue pen to do my sentiments. <gasps> That's for foiling. What are you doing? <laughs> you can use it for foiling, but it's also great for yes, it is the putting these together. Boy, I am my just little wonky world today. Hmm. And I am just wonky today. There we go. I fixed it. Everything was leaning to the right. Man, you know, we got to put some blingity bling bling on here. For sure. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll just take our pen and cover this with some glue. Hey, Leah. She might be asleep on the couch. I took her to the park and she ran around the playground and Good. rode her scooter around. You know, she hasn't been outside like playing for a while. So, right. So I say, oh, no, I hear little feet coming down the steps. <laughs> hey, Leah. If you want to win $50 from local King Rubber Stamps and you have not won a prize in the last 30 days, Comment why Leah should pick your name. And go. You were asleep on the floor. See, I said you might be asleep on the couch. I was asleep on the couch. Trying to wash my phone. Hey, we're gonna. Why should Leah pick you? Why Start should Leah comment. pick you? Start commenting about that. My hands are covered with ink, but that's okay. I'm a messy crafter. Oh, Leah got bit by an ant yesterday. In the oddest of places. That's not fun. Remember Nancy's PayPal link. If you would like to um, do a, ch a, a, a donation, Nancy's PayPal. Wait till they all scroll. It's a great way to do that to help pay for postage and help support the FSC. Gosh, there's so many in here. This must have taken forever to die cut. I appreciate these kinds of yes. It's it's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. When, when can I pick the two? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you gotta wait until everybody comments. Oh, my glue dried out. <laughs> Leah, she says, I love your new haircut. You are so super cute. Pick me, Lisa. <laughs> Why is Lisa? Why Lisa think... is the owner of Local King Rubber Stamps. Remember we talked to her? Uh -huh, I, I said I... she's going to have to teach you Chinese because I don't know any Chinese to teach you. Taiwanese, right? You'll have all these tutors. Hey, Tracy. Yes. People are looking for something to do tomorrow. Do you have something they can go do or watch? Tomorrow? Yes, yes. Tomorrow is Mod Squad Challenge Day. So I'm asking all of you to visit modsquadchallenge.com and you will be able to enter a card for a chance to win a gift certificate from um, Kitchen Sink Stamps. So please support Mod Squad Challenge by visiting and posting a card. <laughs> Okay, okay, scroll through there. I'm gonna have six thank you cards from for I'm gonna have six. Tracy's gonna have some more. So for those of you that donated, we're gonna have cards to send you. Mod Squad Challenge is a challenge blog. So um, I'm the hostess and designer for the next two weeks. 
tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. You can check my card out. Um, go ahead and make a card, enter it into the contest, and a random person will win. You, you have to watch Susie. I'm not telling you the theme. You'll have to tune in tomorrow to find out the theme. Okay. I got to make sure she didn't win. Hold on. I, I need. Can you get my list off my computer desk? Yeah. There's a list of names on my computer desk of folks that won yesterday and the day before. I don't think she has, but I just want to double check. A big list of names of all the people that have gotten taxes this week. Yeah. Where all my postage slips are. Okay, does it look like this person has won anything in the last 30 days? Ooh, how exciting. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. I do love the orange and pink. It reminds me of Sherbert. <laughs> Lisa, I mean, Leah. Leah picked this person because she liked the emojis. She's a sucker for emojis. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. That, are you sure that's the one you want? Look, come over here and read it. You're like in my ear, dude. Yeah, because you, yeah, go ahead. They can hear you. Uh-huh. Boiling Fairy Carol. Ooh, Carol. Carol Green. Miss Leah liked your little fairy emoji. So she picked <laughs> you. Congratulations, Carol. Carol's another one of the FSC angels who. Who is giving those... away foiling packets right now. Yeah, she gives away on the FSC. You have to join the FSC and follow Carol's directions for a chance to win from Carol. Congratulations, well, Carol. Now Carol's going to have $50 to spend at Local King Rubber Stamps. Yay! Yay! Congratulations to our winners. Again, we had Karen Voller, Tanya Unicorn, Jerry Wheaton, Sherry D, and now Carol Green, please email in to the Foiling Snobs Club to claim your prize, and I will email you your $50 gift certificate to purchase from Local King Rubber Stamps. For those of you that did not win, you can still go shop. There's some great deals going on at Local King Rubber Stamps right now. There is an additional discount code on her YouTube channel if you want to go check that out. She has free shipping on her brand new spring release and 20% off the other items. Um, I just ordered a whole bunch so I'm looking forward to those showing up this week so I can share with my girls and um, also join Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook and on the post that says, show me your best card, your favorite card, it can be your card, it can be a card that someone else made and sent to you, you have a chance to win. I literally still have a whole box of prizes to mail out to you guys. So we have a lot more goodies to give away. Um, we have a lot more sponsors that are sending products for the giveaway. I jumped the horn with the... Um, Free giveaways over the weekend and then we hit 20,000 this morning so this is very exciting for all of us and I want to thank you guys all for your support and the giveaways are still going on so make sure you are subscribed to all of our channels not just my channel but Tracy's channel Stacy's channel Chow's channel um, Elizabeth's channel you never know when we're going to pop up and do a live we love doing live giveaways and I love when you guys send me emails and say, oh, I just scared my son when you screamed my name and I yelled really loud. That, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. I remember that one. 
And don't forget, um, if you would like to make a donation to the PayPal account, that helps with postage and it's greatly appreciated. Absolutely. Yeah, PayPal is preferred over YouTube because it comes, the postage comes out of the PayPal account, but YouTube, um, it takes a small percentage. So PayPal will be preferred. And the link is at the top of my YouTube page. It says donate to us. And it doesn't matter if you donate $5 or you donate more than that. We've been very surprised by some folks' donations, but we're very, very humbled and grateful for all of the support, you guys. All right. We have some beautiful cards, don't we? I can't wait yeah. to see your cards. Show me yours first. Okay. So this one, I took the, I have Ooh. a giant mess on my desk. So hold on. Flower Garden, which is the brand new spring background release. And I stamped this one in pink, pucker up, uh, Catherine Puller ink. And this is a Catherine Puller thanks die. And just did a real simple card. And then I stamped it in black on patterned paper. I like this one. This one's really cool. Mm -hmm. So that is called Flower Garden. And you guys can see how quickly and how easily we put these cards together. And then the ne next one is called Tickle, Tickles, Tickles. So Tickles, I did two ways. And this way I ink blended the back in yellow and then stamped over it with some teal and blue inks. And then on this one, I ink blended in some uh, blues and greens and then stamped over it in some teal and blue. And again, with those thanks on there. This one is a new one from last summer. This one's called Do. Look at those realistic bubbles. Mm-hmm just really simple you know what I think I'm gonna I think I have somewhere I have a frog I think a frog deserves to go on here so I'm gonna find you the go. frog and put the frog on here and then mm -hmm. here I have the koi fish and I have the brand new um waves I want to make sure I give you guys the right names here perfect storm oh perfect storm yes I'm calling it waves waves is the other one so perfect storm background that I did clear heat embossing and then just rubbed the ink over it and then colored the koi fish with the markers. So I cut those out with the matching coordinating dies and put those on there. And then I'll put a little thank you on here. And here it is kind of hard to see, but I did it with some chunky glittery Ooh, pretty. on here. So that'll be a card another day. What did you have there, Tracy? Yours are gorgeous. Thank you. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I started off with the Jelly Giggles and I used some Catherine Puller inks to um, with my magic mushrooms. So this one is the purple and the blue and this one is the green, purple and the blue together. And these are ready to be put onto a card base. Okay, and that one is called Jelly Giggles, All right? I also had a lot of fun with Perfect Storm. So that's this one. And I made these really cool backgrounds. This one was just sort of a last minute Ooh. stamp it off with some um, ink and some um, water. So I, I used all one color for this one. This reminds me of like Van Gogh or something. Mm -hmm. That is yep. very artistic. This one I used Cumberbund and I used um, sea foam and I used... Uh, the stone blue. So I used three different colors on this one. And then I had some ink left on my stamp. So I just sprayed some water on it and I cut this beautiful watercolor background. And what I did was I colored in the turtles. This is called riding the wave. I colored them in with the local King markers. And I think that turned out really nice. I really like how that looks. And then my last one, I used um, some pink and orange I used the flower garden and I created a real pretty sort of tropical card. So I really like how that turned out. And that's flower garden. There's also celebration, which is this beautiful fireworks rice lake, which has this beautiful lake hey, and pull ink. that one out. I love webs. that one. The rice lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also magic carpet and eek which would be the spider webs. So I oh, did not yeah. get to play with these ones yet tonight, but they're definitely going frog. to be used. Aren't they gorgeous, oh, you guys? 
What are you looking for, Nancy? I don't have the frog, and I thought for sure I had a frog. Oh, you're looking for the frog. She lost her frog. I got turtles. I have the riding the wave set like you have, and then I have this guy here. Maybe we'll put, maybe we'll put um, this turtle. I don't know. I'll yeah, that would there. look great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lisa, so for your generous fun. sponsorship. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy, for going live. It was all Tracy's idea, you guys. Yes, I, I couldn't wait to play with these stamps. <laughs> I've been thinking about them, and some of them were sent to me by Lisa. Some of them, like Kim in Alaska, sent me Jelly Giggles. Nancy's going to be sending me one. Yep. Um, so, so some of them I bought, but all together, I love the whole set, and I'm so excited that we got to go live tonight and have some generous giveaways. That was such a blessing. And I know the people who won them are gonna have so much fun purchasing from Local King Rubber Stamp. I mean, I only have a small collection of King Rubber Stamp. <laughs> yes. Years and years and years of collecting you guys. And I just love them all. They're all very special to me. I don't think you'll ever see me give one of these away. Mm -hmm. I will admit to being very selfish when it comes to my favorite stamp companies and local King is definitely one of them. I mean, I love this, this, uh, Asian delight fan. Um, she just makes, look at this kimono set and she does the, the outline stamp, which you can certainly color in or the shadow stamp where you just use the markers and, you know, make it any color you want, which just makes it so much easier and then of course you have the die so you can cut that out so lisa you know you're just not allowed to retire i cannot live without lisa stamps not happening well we hope you guys had fun playing along with us tonight keep an eye out we have some more fun goodies coming um along make sure you support tracy tomorrow on the mod squad challenge we'd love to see you guys' entries on there and again head on over to foiling snobs club on facebook and enter the what's your favorite card contest and you could have a chance to win some fabulous goodies i think i have at least another dozen goodie bags to give away so plenty to mm. do we're going to continue this for the whole rest of the week as our twenty thousand and two thousand subscriber celebration Lisa said that she has the frog and it's hopping its way to Pennsylvania right now. You're the she best, your Lisa. I love you. <laughs> Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. Make sure you email us so you can claim your prize and we will get those out to everybody. Thanks, Don't forget everyone. To thumbs up on your way out. Bye, guys. Have a great evening. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Lisa. And thanks to our administrators. All your help is greatly appreciated. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.